Today I'm going to teach you how to create YouTube channel arts, also known as YouTube banners. We're going to create them in Canva and I'm going to show you how to design them using safe areas so your banners look good on desktop, tablets, phones and other devices. You can create these banners using Canva Free or Canva Pro and this video is going to be full of great tips so I suggest that you stay until the end and if you are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer. Here I am in canva.com and the first step is to search for YouTube channel art. Here Canva is going to give us a couple of options so go for YouTube channel art on this search result, you can either select a template right away or create a blank document. I'm going to create a blank document because I can still select a template from the editor. So I'm going to select this option right here. Here I am in the Canva editor and as I mentioned, I created a blank document. So that's why I don't have anything on my design at the moment. I want to mention something important because the size of this document is the safe area for TVs. So if somebody is watching your YouTube channel from a TV, they should see the whole design here. But if they are watching your channel from a desktop or tablet or phone, they will see only a section of this design. So I'm going to start by creating some guides and like this I'll be able to see the safe areas in which I'm going to position all the elements, photos and text and this way I'm going to make sure that my design looks good on every device. For us to be able to create these guides on Canva, we need to go to File and Show Rulers and Guides. We're going to create our first guide, so we're going to click on the ruler on top and drag our mouse downwards. And we're going to pay attention to the number to the left, the one that is showing on purple. And we're going to make sure that our line is located at 423. In this case, it is a little difficult for me to get the 423 so I'm going closer to my empty page and like this I will try to get the 423 okay so I have the 423 and the next step it is to create a square so you can go to elements and select this square shape now we're going to adjust the height of this square and we're going to make it 423 and that's why we created this guide in here so bring your square to the top of the page and then make sure that the bottom edge touches this guide that we just created once you have done these steps go to position and align to middle once your rectangle is on the middle of the page we're going to adjust this guide bring it to the edge of the square or the rectangle and then create another guide that touches the bottom of this rectangle. Now we have the desktop safe area. Everything that goes inside this area, this gray area, is going to be visible from desktop. Now let's create the safe area for all devices. This time we need to create a vertical guide and we're going to position this guide to 1546. So again, we need to check this purple number on top and try to make sure that it goes to 1546. Okay, I'm gonna go closer because I cannot get the 1546. There we go. And we're going to do the same process. So I'm going to duplicate this rectangle that I have in here. And this time, let me just change the color so we see clearly what we are doing here. Now we're going to adjust the width of this rectangle. So I'm taking the anchor on the right hand side and I'm going to drag it until it touches the guide that we just created. Now I'm taking this new rectangle, position and to center. Now I'm going to move this guide until the right edge of this rectangle 
and I'm going to create one more guide for the left edge. Now we have all the safe areas that are important for this design. So the area in the middle is going to be visible on all devices, okay? So I'm going to remove or delete these squares because we don't need them anymore. And remember that the gray area is going to be visible on desktop. And finally, the whole page is going to be visible on TV. Now that we have these safe areas, we can start designing so you can create your design from scratch. In my case, I'm going to use a thumbnail available in Canva. So I'm going to open the templates section and then type in here female creator. This is a keyword in case that you want to use the same template that I'm gonna use today. So this template is available for Canva Pro, but if you want to create this banner completely free, just go back to templates and you can select one of the options that don't have any label. If you see the crown, these are available for Canva Pro, but if you see that they don't have any label, these are completely free. Okay, in my case, I will use this one and I created these safe areas because even though if we are using templates available in Canva, they still may need some adjustments. So we are sure that all the content is visible on all devices. So in this case, to me, it is important that this line is visible on all devices. So I'm just making sure that these text box goes inside this rectangle that we see right here. So I'm making just some little adjustments and let's customize this template. So let's say that I'm creating a banner for a yoga YouTube channel. So yoga every day and then yoga sessions and meditations. Okay, there we go. We just need to change the colors and the photos. In my case, I'm gonna use some photos available in the Canva library. So let's go for yoga. In here, I want to show you a trick because let's say that you are scrolling down and you like a specific style of photography. So I like this one in here. I'm gonna click on the three dots and click on, you see here, view more by Ellie fairy tale from Pexels. I'm gonna click on pixels and now after you get this code you're gonna type next to it yoga or the specific keyword that you are using and then you will get a lot of images with a similar style so I'm gonna use these photos right here and I'm gonna put them inside these frames. If you want, you can also use your own photos to make your YouTube channel art more personalized. In this case, just go to Uploads and select this button right here, Upload Media, and you will be able to upload your own images. Okay, I'm gonna use these photos in here. I have the images and the text ready on my banner. Now I'm gonna change the colors. So I'm gonna use styles, go to color palettes, see all, and I'm gonna try a couple of different color palettes here until I find something that I like. I think this one looks really good. Once you have your design ready, go to share on the navigation bar on top, select download, PNG, and download. Once you have downloaded your banner, go to your channel and make sure that you are logged in. Once you are in your channel, select this button that says customize channel. YouTube is going to open this new window. You're going to select branding and then under banner image, select upload. Select the banner that we just created and here you will see the same safe areas that we created inside Canva. This is viewable on TV, this is viewable on desktop and this one is viewable on all devices. So we are good to go. If everything is looking good on your side, select done. Then make sure that you hit publish because if you don't select this button, your banner won't appear on your channel.
and this is the final outcome this is how the banner looks on a desktop a tablet and a mobile phone while i was creating this video i was wondering if any of you would like me to create a tutorial to teach you how to create these youtube banners from a phone so if any of you are interested in that tutorial you can let me know in the comments and if i see enough people requesting that tutorial i will make it for you guys and as i know that you guys are interested in youtube content creation we have a couple of tutorials related to video editing tricks in canva specifically for youtube so i'm gonna leave you guys that playlist i think you're going to really like those tutorials and if you want to keep learning about canva and you want to access our 10 canva courses for free i'm gonna leave you guys a link here so you can have more information i think that's it i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one bye